And what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It is your boy, Cheap Ludes, and Spotlight Sims are upon us. I was going to insert some music right here, but I don't know if I will because that sounds like a lot of work and I really don't want to increase my production value. So sorry to break it to you. Ah, Spotlight Sims are upon us. And I'll be honest, I am super disappointed. I'll be the first person to say I am very, very uh, disappointed in this. This is mid and just not in a good way. Now, the challenges themselves aren't that bad. There is some decent rewards and badge packs, whatever, whatever, whatever. They don't look to be all that hard. It's just a lot of triple threat against some kind of interesting teams. The themes are kind of cool. I like that. Look at my man. Look <laughs> at my... Wait, what? <laughs> I don't think... I don't think John Wall's rival was Jerry West, but who am I to say? I guess I don't know. Unless John Wall can time travel, which I don't believe he can. Kelly Trapuka. Yes. That's what we like to see. Yeah, I mean, these challenges look all right. I mean, at the end of it, you get like a, a Hall of Fame badge pack, which is cool. It just comes with one card, so it's not an option pack. So I'm probably going to do all this and get Drop Stepper if I had to guess. So that's that's all fine and dandy right the spotlight challenges themselves are cool um i kind of don't like how they did them like they've done every kind of spotlights at this point like that i don't like uh the reason being because it leaves it open to do stuff like this which is exactly what happened which is we got king bracket buster groups oh my god i'm so tired of agenda groups i'm so sick of agenda groups why can we not have a spotlight sim like 2k20 or 2k21 why do we have to have why is everything a goddamn agenda why is everything an agenda oh god all right let's go through it 1v1 win the bracket buster spotlight opening game uh you do get three cards you get denzel valentine draymond green who's literally horrible like it's like a terrible draymond green they gave us like quite possibly the worst possible draymond green on the planet i, I will say that like it's like he's not even that much better than his gold card. <laughs> it's pretty gross. All right, so let's just talk about the three cards. Denzel Valentine looks okay. He's got base 22 on quick. Like, he's a decent, like, ruby shooting guard guy, I guess. And that's coming from me, who hates Denzel Valentine. Then we got Draymond, who has, like, uh, two hot zones total, none of which had the three-point line for some reason. A 77 shot three and just a bunch of silver and bronze badges. Um which I just don't understand why Draymond could have like, like Denzel Valentine, I think has like 30 gold badges, right? Yeah. Denzel Valentine has 42 gold badges, but for some reason they gave us a Draymond with 11 golds, 12 silvers and six bronzes that can't shoot the three um, and a release on normal. So I'm just kind of confused more or less. Is this like the same as his dynamic ratings? Yeah. I mean, damn near the exact same as his dynamic ratings card. Oh God. And then Magic Johnson, who's like, he, at least I gave Magic 30 badges. Like, he's still not very good, but whatever. They gave him 81 speed. They really just said, no, nah, you guys are not coming up off these cards. Yeah, and then you have to score 163 points with these guys over multiple games, which is about to be just the absolute worst. <laughs> like, it's about to be terrible. Win the Bracket Busters Ruby School Rival Spotlight game. And then... You know, you get a couple more things. You get Luke Walton. Shout out to Luke Walton. He's got base 20 on quick, which is the Scalabrini Justice Winslow release. I think it's Matisse Steibel. I yeah, actually like that release. He looks kind of decent. Shout out to Luke Walton. I'm about to hoop so hard with Luke Walton for no reason. Score 10 points, three rebounds. I didn't even cover these, but yeah, they're in-game. Um... They're in-game challenges as well, like we've seen with the Moments of the Month, uh, the Season 4 stuff. It's all the same stuff, at least thus far. It doesn't appear to be mode-locked, though I just wish they would get rid of this entirely, to be completely honest. I really just would like to just grind the games <clears throat> and maybe just like uh, get rewarded for doing that instead of having to do this stuff every single time we get an offline grind. Honestly, I hate it. I'll be the first to say it. I don't know if people like this stuff or what. I'm just so tired of it. I'm tired of seeing it. Like just once, just one time, I would just like a basic offline grind. I know we have domination, but it's not really the same thing. Like I just want, hey, win these like 25 games and then you get the prizes. That's all I want. I don't want to have to go in here and make five dunks and two threes with Bracket Buster rewards Richard Jefferson in a game. I especially do not want to have to try to get three assists in two blocks with this dusty Draymond in one game. I don't want to do it. 
Sorry. All right, rant over. Luke Walton looks okay. He looks fun. Salim Stoudemire, I mean, every like comp person is like nutting themselves over this card because he's got like base three and like the best triple six in the game. I mean, it's cool that we're seeing Salim Stoudemire. That's a really sweet name, but like, I don't think I've seen him in 2K uh, ever, I don't believe. So that, I mean, that's pretty cool. And the card itself isn't bad. Like, it's definitely not... People are just hyped because he has the quote-unquote perfect sigs, but he's not really the greatest card in the world. He's fun, though. Richard Jefferson, yeah, I mean, whatever. My all-Nets team, which I'll never even get to use anyway in any meaningful capacity, uh, is here as well. It's all right. They gave him six silver badges for, like, no reason whatsoever <laughs> in a normal jump shot base. Like... I'm guessing that at every single gem level, they're going to pick one player and then just do them super dirty for no reason. Whatever. Score 142 points with these guys. Won't be quite as bad. That's nice. Win this and you get all three of the diamonds, which are Corey Kispert, Kelly Olinick. Yeah, I think that's how you say that. And John Stockton. So white. So incredibly white. These are easy, though. Make a... Uh, Six threes with Corey Kispert in the game. Kispert looks good. He looks a little bit slow, but he's got Ray Allen on quick and decent badges. Like he's all right. Uh, Olinick's actually not bad either. Uh, he's only got 80 speed though. Set shot 19 isn't terrible. I used his gold card <laughs> in limited and I actually shot pretty well with him. So I think he's decent. 17 points, five rebounds. That's fine. Get a double double with John Stockton. Honestly, not that terrible. I mean, John Stockton's really not that good. They gave him normal jump shots or anything, too. Like, why, bro? Oh, this is basically the mystic John Stockton. They're essentially the same. Then score 142. Why do you have to score less? Wait, did you have to score 142 with the rubies? Why do I have to score 163 with these terrible rubies? Oh, God, I hate this. I hate this game win this and you get all the pink diamonds pink diamonds are pretty cool rex chapman who just embarrassed himself on live tv it's pretty cool uh he kind of looked like howie mandel really disappointing to find out that he turned into howie mandel but like with odd colored glasses don't like that um 18 points five threes that's cool rex chapman is a relatively good card i believe they fixed his jump shot no they kept him at base 20 or base 49 oh no i liked his base 22 dude Fucking god I, 2k can't let me have anything Make seven dunks with John Wall. John Wall is just kind of a better version of himself, realistically. He's got a release on quick. He's good. I mean, it kind of nullifies my 12 Hoff badge glitch John Wall, which is unfortunate. But it does have a limited contract, so it's cool. 15 points of one steal with Jamal Mashburn. This is Dallas Jamal Mashburn. He actually looks pretty good. He's got quick dribble style, like hard, hardened behind the back, jump shot one, like... Yeah, he's actually pretty decent. I might run him for fun at least. You know what I mean? Score, uh, what do you got to do here? I guess you don't have to score a certain amount of points with these guys. Oh, sorry. Didn't realize that there was an additional thing. Looks like you don't have to score a certain amount of points with the pink diamonds, so you just get them. So complete the Bracket Buster Spotlight. Oh, goody. Good, the three final cards. They also have challenges. Get a triple-double with Bill Walton in a game. Great. <laughs> just great also get 10 rebounds i knew it i knew it was coming i knew the multiplayer was coming i knew it it always is oh god at least these cards are good <sighs> that's so frustrating i just don't quit forcing me to try to play online like jesus dude can we have an offline grind like period i can't even speak just once can we have one offline grind please just one true offline grind i don't want to get sweated on super hard by like a 17 year old with an anime court oh trying to recreate ty debo or splash's run in the tournament all right just because i want to like get 10 rebounds with bill walton for instance like i just oh man i don't mind playing online i just just once i would like to not have to that's it ah all right bill walton's okay though I mean, he's decent. Jump shot 37 on quick sounds pretty good. I liked it on AO, so maybe it's good on Bill Walton. He can kind of shoot. They didn't increase his three-pointer at all. He's a good defensive card. He's all right. Uh, yeah, I mean, he's okay. Christian Leitner. They gave him jump shot 31, the Eddie Jones-Sadiq Bay release. Um, and Christian Leitner might actually be nasty. Like... He's got good badges, too. Like, they gave him gold limitless. I'm about to tear things up with Christian Leitner. Just just know that. Just know. 
I don't like that I have to... Oh, 31 points and 7 rebounds. Easy. I don't like how I have to go to play TTO games with Leitner, but I did play TTO games with Gold Christian Leitner earlier in the year, so who cares? And then we got Danny Manning. I couldn't be happier with the selections up here. Like, Danny Manning's got jump shot four on quick. Like, he looks really good. Uh, I'm sure people are going to say he's trash, but he personally looks good. And then you just got to win a triple threat online game using all three of them. That shouldn't be that hard. That realistically should be able to be done relatively easily. And then you get Ralph Sampson, who, to be completely honest, is just like, depending how you look at it, slightly better or slightly worse Yao Ming. I'm actually not really sure. He's got set shot 17, which is a heinous release. Um, yeah, it's actually really bad. Uh, even on Bill Russell and Wilt, guys that I love playing with, uh, it's pretty bad. He is slightly faster than Yao Ming. He's got slightly better lateral quickness than Yao Ming, but other than that, they're essentially the same. I mean, realistically, if I look them up, they're not going to be much different, especially if you badged your Yao out um, or given him shoes or something of that nature. Like, there's not going to be a huge difference between them. Like, he's a better perimeter defender, I guess. Uh, badge wise, like, he's got gold difficult shots. If that ever comes into play, I mean, realistically, the difference is null and void. Like, he does have unstrippable, I guess. That's about it, though. There's really no difference between the two, honestly, in regards to badges. Like, Ralph Sampson has, like, gold glue hands and, like, needle threader and stuff. But altogether, very disappointing. Now, I'm not, I'm not really disappointed in the rewards. Like, the rewards include Danny Manning and Christian Leitner. Like, your boy is hyped about it. But I'm tired of the requirements i'm tired of the agenda requirements i'm just i'm sick of it dude i'm sick of having to do this agenda stuff i mean yes xp is nice but like i promise it doesn't need to be every single time it's so infuriating as always it's been your boy chief ludes you know i'll be back with more content later probably with a clear head i didn't just get off work and i'm mad it's a good combination should probably drink some water my voice is fried Anyways, drop a like on this video, comment down below, and I will see you guys later. I'm going to go play these anyway. You know I have to get my boy Christian later. Like, you already know what it is. Like, I can't even show up to the stream this weekend without Opal Christian Leitner. Like, I'm not going to get any respect from the crew for that. So, peace.